Hey, this is Frankie the Bull with another edition of From the Case to the Plate from Great American Seafood Market in Rancho Palos Verdes. So today I wanted to walk you through the seafood counter. And well, I say seafood counter, but it really is the seafood and meat counter. Um, we have only the best selection of USDA prime steaks. Today we're featuring ribeye and filet. Um, our hot smoked salmon is from Santa Barbara Smokehouse, a local smokehouse here in California. Wonderful hot smoked and a honey glazed. Uh, our uh, cold smoked salmon, we have both the grab locks and the, the, um, and the traditional locks. And of course, this is one of my favorites. I make the pokey here three times a day, every day. Cut from number one ahi, generally from Hawaii or local fish, and chopped up in little cubes. I do a sriracha and I do a mayo spicy. Phenomenal. With salmon out of season right now, um, as far as the wild fish goes, we carry the finest Canadian farm raised. Um, the swordfish is local today and it's on special. This is locally caught and, uh, and brought into Fish Harbor right here in LA Harbor. So great product and a great price. Um, our ahi, as I explained, this is what, this is what pokey is made out of. This is that raw fish. This is what you, you slice, you eat with wasabi and soy sauce. It's a meal in itself. I love this serving, I call it blue which means I will sesame seed crust it, I'll get my sesame oil hot, really hot. I'll put it in the pan for 30 seconds, I'll flip it for 30 seconds, I'll slice it on the bias, I'll take that oil and I'll pour it right over it with a little bit of hot chili flakes. I call it my ahi blue. Um, wild northern halibut. There's nothing like that flavor. To me, I fished up in Alaska for a long time and that northern halibut, it's, ju it's just a special treat. It's great on the grill, super versatile. It can be fried, it can be baked, it can be broiled. Um, has an excellent texture to it. It's firm enough to hold up to big flavors. Next we have our, our wild Atlantic cod. Pacific cod Atlantic cod, not the same species. This fish is preferred. This is, this is your fish and chips fish. This is your go-to, if you're in a British pub, this is what you're getting. You're getting Pacific, um, you're getting Atlantic cod, not Pacific cod. I'm sorry, Pacific cod is something better, better to be baked. Uh, black cod, local black cod, sustainably caught, hook and line, Pacific Northwest. Great oily fish, takes to a miso glaze. I, I serve this half raw. I'll take a heavy miso glaze, which I use a tablespoon of miso, two tablespoons of honey, a tablespoon of soy sauce, and two tablespoons of a sweet wine or a sake. And I'll brush it on there, I'll put it underneath the broiler, and then I'll finish it off with a torch, or just finish it off with a broiler. Slice it real thin and enjoy it. It's phenomenal. Maryland Crab Cakes, we make these here. They are excellent. I'm not a big fry your crab cake guy, right? I'd rather bake my crab cakes. I brush these with olive oil, they're pan coat coated, bake them in the oven. 14 minutes on one side, flip them over six minutes on the other. Chilean sea bass, not really a sea bass. A lot of people didn't know that. Patagonian toothfish, a midwater pelagic species in the lower latitudes from the 12 south and lower down to the Antarctic. Super high in fat due to the cold water. There's nothing like it, really. There's nothing that you can compare this fish to because of its oil content. I guess the closest would be the black cod, and they're not related. Um, talk about a grilling fish. Talk about something that takes well to marinate, but has its own buttery flavor. Not something you really need to complicate when you cook. It's delicious by itself. That's all we have. That's the time, all the time we have. But you know what? We're gonna we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about the shellfish we carry here and some of the frozen fish. This is Frankie the Bull with another edition of From the Case to the Plate, live from Great American International Seafood Market in Palos Verdes.